Hi everyone, Mark here with Spagiver Backpacking. Earlier this week I posted up a video of a stove that I use when I go out backpacking and I got a couple of requests to show how I built the stove. So that's what I'm going to do today is uh, take you through building the stove. I'm sitting out here on uh, the porch at my mom's house. We we had to leave our, our house down in uh, South Carolina with, with the Hurricane Hermine coming in and decided to come up here for the Labor Day weekend. So here I am sitting out here. Figured it was a great time to go ahead and show you what we're doing. So let's get started with showing you the supplies, what I use to, to do this. So here are the things that I will use to, to make this. First of all, uh, the key is the Starbucks double shot espresso, the espresso and cream, six and a half ounce uh, can. Usually I go about an inch high with my first line. I've already got the lines marked out, but what I'll do is I'll find some things to, to stack, whether it be books or whatever. Uh, set a, a sharpie against it, hold the sharpie, and rotate the can to make the lines. So I've got two lines on here uh, because in that other video I had talked about how I use one single can to do it. So this will be the base of the can and then I cut in between the two. I'll trim it so that it's nice along the lines and then I'll measure this a quarter inch higher than what this is uh, just so that I have the lip that comes up that the pot actually rests on where the jets are, are done from. Uh, so I'll actually measure it after I get it cut, have a nice good line there. Other things you need, you know, I could use I could use cards uh, combined with, you know, some some different things to make the, the heights that I'm looking for. Need some scissors or uh, you know some people will make a little jig with with a razor blade and just kind of run it across there, spin it to make a, a, a scored line and then and then cut it that way. Uh, I use sciz the scissors, works good for me that way. Um, one thing I will say is that pretty much no two stoves of mine are exactly the same dimensions. Uh, you know, this one has a, a crease. You can see a crease right here in the can, and it kind of wraps around. It comes almost down to my line, and so I made it a little bit shorter than one inch on this one, just so that I avoided that crease, so that there was nothing, uh, nothing there that would impact it. So let me uh, make some cuts. So now you can see, now you can see what I've done here. Uh, I've got the the base of the the stove, and then the rest of the can is still sitting here. Um, here are the the scraps that I cut off. So I cut right in between the two, and then trimmed a nice clean cut there and a nice clean cut on the bottom. So now what I'll do is uh, I've stacked some things that are about a quarter inch higher than the the stove itself. So uh, when the when the line is made, it'll be about a quarter inch higher than that. And so I will mark this and then uh, we'll make the cut. So here we go. So now that I have these two, these two pieces here, what I've done is I've, uh, I've taken this one and I've put some marks uh, all the way around the inside so eight of them evenly marked in between and there's a couple of different ways you can do this you can estimate uh, you can kind of fold it and put the marks where it folds in the center um, and do that all the way around or you could take a piece of piece of paper uh, cut a strip of the paper tape it so that it's the, the length of this and then fold it in half fold it in half fold it in half and that'll give you eight even pieces then place the the paper back on and mark where each of the, the creases and the lines are uh, and that'll give you your your eight evenly spaced. You know I've done it with eight, I've done it with sixteen, I've done it with with ten. Uh, the number really doesn't seem to change the way that it performs all that well. Eight seems to work well, gives a good uh, a good seat in the in the bottom of the base as well. So now the next step is to make the actual ribs. So you want to use something that is uh, that is flat and hard and has a good straight edge to it. So what I'm going to use is actually the, the same scissors, same scissors that I used to cut it. I'm going to use it to uh, make the ribs in there. So here's how I go about doing that. So I'll take the, the scissors, place them on the line, make sure that we've got a, a straight up and down, and then just kind of bend it over and use my finger behind it to create that ridge. And I'll go to the next point, 
get it straight up and down. You can use the lines on the can itself to make sure that you're going straight up and down. Crease that one. Go to the next one. Do the same thing. And then we'll come back once I get it. Now that you've got the two pieces and you put all the ribs in the insert, uh, it's time to just put it together. So you just take it and work it down in to the base. And once you get it started, you just push it in, find something hard to push it against. And there you have it. That is the entire burner. All done, ready to go. So there you have it. It's a, uh, a simple stove to make. Very effective stove, works great, super lightweight, four to five grams, depending on you know the size, dimensions, how you, how you do it, whether or not you clean it out. Um, works great, easy to make. One can is all you need, and uh, you get to drink an espresso before you do it, which for me, that's the, that's the best part. Uh, works great, like I said, uh, showed the video of the, the boil test, so I'll link that on here, and you guys can go, go check it out. Hey, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, subscribe to my page, like it, leave me some comments, give me some feedback. Keep it going. See you guys.